But, you know, my mom was wild back in the day. I knew she was wild, you know. But it was, uh, you know, but, you know, it was like my mom and dad, like, they had me in high school. They were young. They were teenagers, you know. Like, they didn't, neither of them really wanted to be parents, you know. It was like I was, it was like as soon as I came out, my dad went that way. My mom went that way. I was like, hey, one of you motherfuckers want to raise me? It's odd when your parents ain't shit, you know, like, and for different reasons, you know. Just neither of them was, they just didn't want to be parents. What are you going to do, you know? That's why I don't ever understand when I see dudes get drafted in the NBA or the NFL, and the first thing they do, I'm going to buy my mom a house. I go, for what? <laughs> That's stupid. What the fuck she ever do for you? <laughs> I'm like, no, Gary, most moms are cool. I don't believe that shit. Because I remember growing up, I would see kids going to school, and they had lunch boxes and lunches was in it. I, I'm thinking they made it. I said, Diane, how you make that bologna and cheese sandwich like that? <laughs> My mom did that. Motherfucker, for real. <laughs> you, you telling me your mom got up early before you went to school, made you breakfast and lunch? Get the fuck out of here. Ain't no mom doing that shit. <laughs> I never saw my mom before I went to school, ever. Because when I was, man, when I was seven, though, seven years old was a, that's the year you start to really remember shit. You know, everything before seven is kind of like a TV going on and off. When I was seven, man, that's when I was in second grade, and that's when my mom was in the pocket. Like, she had a nice little rotation going that age, man, because she was like 23, 24, you know. She was single. We had no other kids, wasn't married yet. You know, and then uh, we didn't move to the trailer yet, so me and her had a little... We had a little one-bedroom apartment, downtown Cincinnati, and my mom slept in the bedroom every night. I slept on the couch, so my bedtime was 9 o'clock. So every night when I went to bed, it was always just me and my mom. But when I woke up, a friend had come over when I was sleeping. And that's how I got to school in second grade, was my mom's friends. Because my mom had to be at work at 5 a.m. I didn't go to school till 8 a.m., so I guess that was part of the deal. You can come over, but you got to take Gary to school the next day. So when I was in second grade, kids in my school thought I was bowling because I was getting dropped off in a different car every day. <laughs> Monday, I'd be in a Ford F-150. Tuesday, I'm in a Honda Accord. Wednesday, I'm in an Acura. Kids in my school was like, dang, Gary, how many cars you got? <laughs> I don't know. I just get them to come to school. I don't know, man. It's mine, though. <laughs> Life was good, you know? I didn't know any different. I thought it was cool. It was cool to have guys to talk to on the way to school. You know, then, then leave it to the sixth graders to fuck my life up a recess one day. I'm having a good day on the playground. All of a sudden, like three, four sixth graders just hand me up. Hey, Gary, Gary. Hey, you know those guys bring to school, right? Yeah, they my mom's friends. <laughs> no. You're doing it to her. <laughs> they do it to your mom, and then they bring you to school. No, they don't. My mom don't do it. She never done it. <laughs> they do it to your mom, and then they bring you to school. <laughs> no, they don't. My mom don't do it. She never done it. I asked her. <laughs> your mom don't do it. How you think you got here? Mm -hmm. Prayer warriors brought me down a guess. <laughs> Then leave it to my best friend Chris to pull me aside when we came in from recess, tell me the truth about my mom. He just, I knew he wasn't lying. So I said, Gary, come here, listen, okay? The sixth graders ain't lying. Your mom's doing it to those guys. <laughs> it, it don't make her a bad mom, though. She making sure you get to school every day. That's a good mom. <laughs> Some moms don't care how their kids get to school, but your mom makes you to school every day. That's a good mom, but don't get it twisted. She's doing it to those guys. So she be doing it to him? She told me she never done it. She be doing it to him? Yeah. It don't make her a bad mom, no. You ever wake up and nobody's there to take you to school? Mm hmm a couple times, because they ain't do it. So they left. I was fucked up at recess for like a week. Now I didn't want to talk to the guys no more taking me to school, because I knew they was doing it to my mom. 
So we'd be on the way to school, it'd be me mugging him the whole drive. <laughs> and I thought about it. And I was like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna start asking for shit. You just ain't gonna do it to my mom and I don't get none out of the deal. <laughs> so we'd be on the way to school. Hey, can we stop at McDonald's? I'm really hungry, can we stop at McDonald's? I ain't got time, little man, I'm running late. I ain't got time to stop at McDonald's. Well, you had time to let my mom suck your dick last night, right? <laughs> All right, let's stop real quick. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna give me a McGriddle. <laughs> yeah, Fridays was the worst. Because two guys would drop me off, so. They never had a problem stopping at McDonald's, though. Them motherfuckers. <laughs> Can we stop McDonald's? Fuck yeah, we're starving too. <laughs> <laughs>